Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Miguel Cisneros. Um, this webinar is going to be about, we're going to talk about some programming on a links. Um, there is two links, the 5210 and the 7000. Uh, the programming of the zones are exactly the same, so that's why I'm including, uh, I'm going to include the 7000. Um, a couple of things uh, at the end of the at the end of the webinar, I'm gonna put a QR uh, graphic. I want you guys to take a picture of it, and it's gonna open your browser on your phone, and it's gonna it's gonna be a survey. Uh, I want you guys to to fill out the survey. It's very important for us to hear about you, um, how we doing, and what new things you wanna hear in a in a up, upcoming webinars. And second one, uh, thank you for your time to be in this uh, webinar. And it's already 12.02, so we're gonna start the webinar. Okay, this webinar is about, um, well, um, also, I say my name already, Miguel Cisner. I work for um, Honeywell Homes, now it's Residio. And I work for the training department and tech support here based in the office of Miami. I've been in the company for many years, but in this in this department, like a couple of years. I was IT before. Um, so we're gonna start with this uh, webinar, right? Uh, Link Touch, the 5210. Well, there used to be three, three, um, three uh, links families, it was the 52,000, the 5210, and the 7,000, the 50, the 51, and the 5210, I mean the 52, they're, they're gone. I mean, we don't manufacture them anymore. They're out of the market. So we just stay with the, with these two, basically. Um, basically, this Honeywell, this is a, almost 100% a wireless panel. Uh, I say almost because it's ninety nine percent wireless because the reason I say that is because zone number one is the only zone that you can you can run a cable to it. It's a wire zone, it's not a wireless. But after that all the other zones are wireless. Everything is wireless here. This panel works uh with all the fifty eight series Honeywell wireless devices. It doesn't work with any other um in terms of wireless, it doesn't work with any other devices, just the Honeywell uh, family. Plus, um, the only thing you can put another brand is you can install another brand are when when we're gonna go um, we're gonna use the Z-Wave uh, technology, we, and then that we're gonna talk about a little bit later on. But basically, this is all 100% Honeywell wireless devices. Uh, it has a a bright, full-color tactile screen with graphic icons that result in an easy operation. It's very easy to operate. The icons, as you, you can see, this is a um, this is um, this is the 7000, I think. No, this is the 5210. Um, the icons are very like uh, very easy to read. It's very easy to go um, to go to the other windows. Um, it also has an advanced alert communication. It has a home automation, the C-Wave uh, technology. Um, the alarm communication, you can you can use um, IP, GSM, and also the 5210 can still be connected to a analog home line, uh, the, the uh, telephone line. It has many control capabilities in, in terms of auto, auto, auto home automation which we're gonna talk about a little bit um, in the other, in the next uh, slide. Okay, this is, okay, this is like um, a comparison. The 5210 is on your left. Let me see, I can get the, I can get a pen, laser point. Uh, this is the 5210, a little smaller than the 7000. 7000, it's a little bigger. Uh, the screen is seven inches, and this is 5.2, I think. And this is all the different 
not all of them, but are different wireless devices. It's a motion sensor here. Those are a, a door or window contact. This is the battery. It has a backup battery. This is the power supply. Uh, it's very important, the AC. Like, for example, in the other, um, the Vista panel, it doesn't matter positive or negative because it's a AC. This is a, this is DC volts, so it does matter the volt um, positive or negative. And this is like a key fob. Uh, one of the difference between the uh, 5210 and the 7000, the 7000 you can see up to four uh, total connect uh, cameras, as, as you can see in the screen. And the 52, you can see only one at a time. Here you can see up to four at a time. Uh, the, all the Lean's Touch series, they are, this is some characteristics of the, of the panel. They are autonomous and wireless alarm panel, totally wireless alarm. Uh, the other characteristics are the reliability uh, and innovation, touch screen and completely color, and very easy, as we said before, to identify icons. Uh, we're going to see some of the features, uh, so, some of the final user benefits for the, for the final uh, client, easy to understand the icons, easy to use, touch screen, Full color graphic, easy flow of operation. From you can move from one window from one menu to other, and then the icons are still easy to they're easy to understand. Uh, this is more benefits. Um, the links, the series, the link series. You have a system and zone voice notification, so it's gonna talk to you which song is gonna. It's going to be on fall, or which song is going to be on alarm. It has a family message center, which means uh, you can leave a message here. And for example, you leave the house and then you, you want to leave a message to your son or to your daughter when they're coming back from school. You can leave it here. It's going to show a little, it's going to show on the screen a little message uh, icon so they know it's um, there's a message so they can listen to it. Uh, integrated Z-Wave technology. Uh, this is the technology that um, this is the home automation. It, you can control thermostats, door locks, lights, switches, garage doors, etc. And it has a high voice operation on the phone, hands-free. Uh, some of them, not all of them. You can talk to the um, to central station over the over this. Uh, this is more benefit of the of, of the link series support communication to central monitors via conventional telephone lines, as well as GSM, IP, and Wi-Fi. You know, those are the options for communication uh, to central stations. Communication via GSM, 2G, 3G, or 4G were uh, applicable. Compatible is totally compatible with Total Connect. Uh, through Total Connect, through your phone or to your tablet, you can control your C-Wave uh, equipment. You can see the weather in your country, emergency alerts, traffic, and news where applicable. All that in the little screen on your links. Uh, through Total Connect remote services, you can operate the Link Touch from any smartphone or compatible device. You can it, it, your phone is gonna it's gonna act as a as a second as a second keypad, if you want to see it like that, but more sophisticated, more uh, there's more icons, more pictures, right? But it's going to be as a virtual uh, keypad. Um, Lynch Touch is easy to use, easy to identify the status of the zones. They're going to tell you everything, like, for example, here, fall zone number four is uh, in the bathroom window. They're gonna tell you exactly where where the where where the fall or the or the alarm happens, as as long as you you put the name when you when we're gonna program a zone, we're gonna you can put the name of the you can put anything on the name on the zone, so it's gonna tell you exactly what it is. Uh, menu is easy to follow, understand as you can see, it, uh, many pictures and easy easy reading pictures. You can go from screen to screen, very, very easy. Full text system information, you can read the whole thing. It's not like abbreviations. Um, 
it shows multiple songs per page. That's a, another good thing about this. Um, there's some benefit for installers, for installers. Um, it's an easy navigation, uh, menu navigation, so in order to program the, the system. Uh, it's a touch programming, it has a touch programming options. You can you can program also on com using Compass, Compass software. Um, it reduces the installation time and cost since it's a wireless, you don't have to run cables, you don't have to spend money on cables, you don't have to you don't have to break um you don't have to break walls and anything else. Uh, programming options are available in existing lists. You can upload and download available through Compass Software. What is the Compass Software? I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna have to give me one. Second. I'm gonna have to. My headset <laughs> running low on battery, so eventually gonna lose it. So let me let me just change to. Yes, yes, we are listening to you. You can, you listen to me? Yeah. Okay, okay. Better. Yeah, you can upload and download available to Compass software. What is Compass? Compass is a software, a free software that Honeywell Home has it on their website, which makes you, uh, as soon as you download it, and then you download it, and then um, you can control your panel, you can remove, control your panel, you can see all the information, all the programming of your panel. Just you need the, the MAC address of the, of the panel, and then you put it in the software, and then you connect it. You can download, upload, you can change uh, programming. You don't have to be on the site. You don't have to be next to the, to the panel in order to change. Um, so those are the benefits, main benefits of the, using Compact. Um, the communication options on this uh, link are the Wi-Fi communication module. In order to, if you want to get Wi-Fi, you gotta add uh, a module, a little module that goes inside uh, the panel um, that it offers the lowest cost communication for allowance remote service solution, installation time saving, and the reduction, uh, reduction of monthly operation costs, where it is a backup of primary. Also, there are no optional communication, the 4G cellular technology. This modern radio finds the best signal. Yeah, it could, it, 2G, practically 2G, we don't use 2G anymore. Very, very, very little, very, very few places. Uh, but uh, you can use 2G, 3G, or 4G in the area, uh, ensuring that the alarm signal reaches the central station. Maximizing installation opportunities, conventional telephone line. It uses all, either conventional phone line, 4G, uh, the MS, um, the Wi-Fi, or the 4G cellular technology. Uh, the cellular technology. You know? It could be 2G, 3G, 4G, GSM. Uh, these advanced communication options give installation companies the flexibility they need to service all the customers whether they rely on mobile phones, uh, voice over IP, or conventional telephone lines. We don't recommend use uh, voice over IP, because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, with, uh, with the panels. Uh, it's ready to use a regular analog phone line. So those are the options of communication. It has three options of communication. Um, this is another uh, characteristic of the, this is the C-Wave technology. It centralized, the centralized control, the C-Wave connectivity module, you have to, you gotta also, as same thing with IP, you install a little module, we're gonna see a little in the, inside the panel, and through that, then you have the C-Wave technology, and you can control all the C-Wave uh, devices. And this module allows you to integrate security lighting, thermostat, locks, uh, garage, door, um, garage doors, blinds, you can open close your blinds, etc. 
um, it'll allow you to enjoy centralized control at the tip of your finger. Right? Just very easy to navigate, very easy to, to program these these devices. We're gonna see a little bit now uh, before we go straight to the to programming. We're gonna see a little features, uh, like total of 50, 80 songs, as I said. One song is um, the song number one is a hardware song. It has 16 RF key pop songs that are dedicated just for, for the um, for the key pop. If now, for example, if key pop or four buttons, if they're gonna use four four songs, we're gonna have to program four songs. Then you can use up to four because you have 16, right? And the songs you're gonna start uh, starting in song 140. This is by default, by by factor default, you're starting 140. I know, um, and then you have 63, uh, 63, 63 RF protection zones, uh, which is going to go from zone number two to zone number 64. Uh, you can use, you can program up to 32 user code, that's under 5210, and up to 48 on the Lynx 2000. Um, on the 5210, you, you can have up to 128 viewable event logs, and uh, 7,000, you can have uh, up to 256. So meaning like um, you can see exactly what the panel does, all actions that the panel does. It's going to be saved on memory, and then you can see up to the last 128 28 events. You don't have to call the... Well, in this case, if you don't want to call the central station to send your report, you can you, you can see it in the screen without calling it. Right? It's going to store it. It's going to record every single action of the of the panel on that little memory, and you can see up to 128. After that, it's going to read the last one, and you're going to keep saving it, the new ones. Uh, both of them has 16 reminders in the schedule. Uh, the color display, the 5210. A little smaller, uh, 4.7 inches, and the seven and the 7,007 inches. They both are two-way voice over uh, GSN IP or Wi-Fi. Total Connect. It's um, it's totally compatible with Total Connect, and you can see Total Connect cameras. Local view, meaning that the the the, the cameras gotta be, they have to be in the same network, the same network as the. Of the of the panel, they have to share the same network. Otherwise, you won't see the cameras. Okay, more features. Oh wait, so, oh, no, sorry, sorry. Okay, more features. You have um, it's it's always a very intuitive um, intuitive programming interface. Uh, you can it has a space for two expansions ports. One is for C wave and the other one is for Wi Fi. Uh, they don't come with it. They don't, they don't come included. If you if you want those, you gotta pay. Um, you gotta get it uh, separately. It doesn't come with it. Two dedicated buttons for easy use. This is uh, in the front. The panic, the red one here, and the home. If you click home, you go back to the home screen. Uh, contact ID or uh, SIA reporting format options. They're both compatible with SIA and contact ID. Uh, this is the module that we're talking about. This is the 5100 Z wave, and this is the 5100 Wi Fi. This is some little modules that goes inside inside the, the panel. Another feature this is uh, if you want an internet communicator, so this is optional. Plus, you, if you have a Wi Fi, but you, you want an. A, you want to connect it to the internet to wire. You're gonna you're gonna have to use a ELP5 internet communicator or the GS um, 4GL GSN communicator for links. This is it comes with a little SIM card over here. These are the other two communicators you can install on this uh, panel. Okay, another a little more option. I mean, features of this panel: a speaker phone option. It has a message center. We saw that uh, pod, GSN, IP, Wi-Fi communication option. Uh, remote phone control features. 
remote programming over part lines or alarming using compass software. You can control this panel uh, remotely using compass. Menu driven radio registration, seeing the same display, it's going to give you, you can register this to uh, alarm net. This phone, and I mean, this, you can register over the, um, the Wi Fi, you can register this, um, or GSM, whatever communication app you're using, you can register this panel. Uh, real time clock and calendar, voice announcement of system status, you always tell you what the status of the, of the system. Um, and user device activation. So this, this is just like a little table or comparison. Uh, we don't want to see much the 51,000 since they're, they're, not, they're not doing it anymore. But this is a little comparison. Of whatever we, uh, we talked about before, this is, a, this is a little table, right? Uh, even low, 128, 256, 7,000, the size screen, number of zones, number of users available, Number of camera you can see on the screen, how many lots, light, uh, thermostat you can handle, the communication options, how many garage doors you can handle, and rules, scenes, and the schedule. Okay, now we're gonna go. We're gonna talk about uh, adding a wireless zone. So this is how you program. Uh, you go to the main screen. Oh, let me see. Hold on. Okay, you go to you go to the main screen. You go to more, um, and then you put the, the installer code. By default, is four one one two. You can later change it. Uh, that's the factory default of an uh, installer code. 4112 and the master call by default by factory default it's 1234. With 1234 you can do some features you can install you can do another features. Uh, in order to program a zone you need to go to with the installer code which is 4112. So then as soon as you put 4112 it's going to give you this uh, this this window you go you click on zones you select zones. It's gonna give you another window like this. Then you're gonna uh, by default. By the way, by default, it comes like a front door, back door, window, motion center, new, and um, zone number two or number three. It doesn't. You don't have to. You don't have to use. You don't have to use like zone number two have to be front door. So number three have to be back door. No, you can change it anytime. Okay. It, it comes just by default. Uh, so you click on add new, or uh, in this case we're going to select uh, from those, zone number two, and it's going to give you, so you see in the top zone number two, it's going to give you a whole bunch of, um, of fields that you gotta, you got to fill out in order to, to program the zone. We started with the serial number, then the loop number, zone description one, on description two, the device type, the response type, and then the alarm report, time, or supervision. So we're going to start with serial number. You click on serial number. Now, when you click on serial number, it's going to it's going to open this screen. Either you have two options. You got to put the serial number. Every single device, wireless device, any wireless device, uh, 5800 uh, family, it comes with a serial number. Uh, either in the back, on the side, inside, we'll, it has a little sticker with a serial number, all of them, starting with letter A. You don't put the letter A, you just put the numbers. So it, there's two ways. Or you, you type it in, the serial number, which is, uh, I believe, uh, six or seven numbers. That's one way. And the other way, if you want to enroll the serial number, is uh, you're going to open and close the the device like three times like for example it's a it's a it's a it's a door contact you want to open and close one so it's going to beep the the pan is going to beep you want to open and close twice second time it's going to beep again so the first time is going to get your serial number it's going to show it like this it's going to show the serial number in the screen the second time it's going to it's gonna 
give you the loop number. Every 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 wireless device has a loop number. Every uh, every device which is a wireless, it works with loops. It depends. You can have a uh, two loops, four loops, depending on the on the device. Where it works with loops. So the second time you open and close, it's gonna show you the loop number, and then a third time, it's gonna confirm the serial number, the loop number. So it's gonna at this time, the third time is gonna be like three times, beep beep beep. So you meaning like uh, like the panel recognizes the device, and it's um, and then when you when you beep the third time for three times, you're gonna click done. So you gotta save what you did, otherwise you won't save it, and then it's gonna put it on the on the in the screen. Like here, the serial number, the loop number. Okay, after selecting down the serial number, the number I confirm. Oh, and the third time it's gonna confirm, and then it's gonna um, the screen is gonna return to the song uh, edit the screen with the with the serial number and loop number display. Okay, now we got the serial number, loop number. We're gonna go then to song description. We click on song description. So we have two sound descriptions here. Sound description one, sound description two. So both of them work the same way. How it works is you put a num, uh, you start putting like the letter. If it's a door, you're gonna put a D. Um, and then this this panel comes already with a setup um, setup word, setup words. It's like a mini dictionary that it has. Every time you put a, a letter, the first letter, it's gonna start like telling you, it's gonna tell you which um, the first, like if you put a D, probably it's gonna, it's gonna look for DA something. It's gonna tell you the, the word and then you keep putting the, the letters, like to complete the word, it's gonna tell you and it's gonna look for it and it's gonna show into your, uh, it's like a, kind of like a spell check or something, like you, put, you start putting numbers, it's gonna give you the, the, the word. And then after that, you're gonna like for example, uh, in this case we press S. It's gonna show you save first. Then we press um, BL, and it's gonna after you press BL, it's gonna show you the word. You don't have to type it in the whole word. It's gonna show it to you. Okay. When it's done, when you look, uh, they put the the, the word that you you're looking for, you're gonna press done. Don't forget always to press down because otherwise it won't say whatever you're doing. Then um, it's gonna show you now. We got some description front, uh, some description to a slide. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the device type. Um, we're gonna click on it, and then it's gonna show you. It's gonna show you options. You can go there's more options if you go down the, the arrow and it's gonna give you more options. The first options are door, window, motion sensor, which are the more most common ones. Glass break, small detector, heat sensor, carbon monoxide. So respond type option for door. If you click um, if you click on door, we're gonna like select door. It's gonna it's gonna give you the depending on the device type. It's gonna give you different options for the response type, and it's gonna give you the ones available. Okay, so after you like for example, this we just pick um, a door. Door actually is a accidentally accidentally one or accidentally two. So we're gonna pick accidentally one. And then it's gonna then it's gonna put everything here, right? If you like, for example, if you device type, you're gonna you're gonna select a motion sensor. The response type is not gonna give you the same uh, options as, as a as a door. It's gonna give you different options. So you select the, the option and then you press um, save or done. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna go. We jump to the alarm report. What is it? It's uh, it's telling. It's asking you if you're gonna um, you're gonna report the alarms, yes or no. And you click once. It says uh, you're ready by default. Yes. You click again. It's gonna change it to no. So it depends on you. It depends on the on the customer. 
then the chime, if you want the chime to, to work, and different different options of, of sounds of the sign of the I'm sorry chime. So you click pressing the that the button and it's gonna keep changing. And the supervision, if you want the song to be supervised on that, usually we all supervise songs, so there's some songs that don't want to be supervised, so this is where you, you select uh, yes or no. I mean, unsupervised or supervised. After that, you press save, and it's going to say everything. And then um, that's it. This is how you, this is how you program a zone. Really easy. No, uh, um, because of the, 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 the menu, of the icons, uh, the complete word, it makes you really easy to understand and and, and work with this uh, panel, right? Okay, now we're going to see how you add a uh, wireless key. Wireless key is um, the key fob. Same way, you go to programming for 112, you enter in programming mode. In this case, instead of song, we're going to press keys, which is the option for the key fob, okay? As of right now, if you, you don't have any, so we're gonna, we're gonna click on Add New. We're gonna add a new key fob. Then it's gonna give you this uh, screen. Key type, user, serial number again, zone, bottom one, zone 40. Automatically, it's gonna, it's gonna pull up the, the zone. Remember, we, we said before, all the key fobs starting in zone number 140. So, it's going to start in 140, then the second uh, button is going to be 141, the third one is going to be 142, and the fourth one 143. If you want to install another key fob, it's going to start in 144, and you keep going. So, <clears throat> okay, we're going to, we're going to select key, uh, key button, I mean the key type, I'm sorry. Uh, there's different kind of uh, key type of the key fob. The options on one, only one button, two buttons, four buttons, six buttons. So you select which one you want it. In this case, we're going to show the, the four buttons. So we select four buttons. And then we go to the serial number again. It's going to ask you for the serial number. Again, there's two ways. Uh, it has a little sticker on the back. This is the, the number you have to put in here. So either you type it in or you start pressing the button. If you type it in, you press uh, done. If you wanna open and close the, the zone, what you gotta do? You gotta press um, the, the the top left, and you gonna press it for two seconds, and the panel is gonna beep. You press it for two more seconds, it's gonna beep again. So it's gonna catch the serial number. That's gonna catch the it's gonna catch the loop number. If you press it for two seconds again, just the, just one button, the third. The third time, it's going to confirm that it got it, okay? So after that, you press done. You just got to do it once. You don't have to do each individual one. Like, for example, um, if you, you're you programming a key file on a Vista, you got to do you gotta do uh, one by one. In this case, just you do the first one, it's going to pull up everything. As we can see in the screen, we got the serial number. We've got the uh, key type, the serial number. Button key number one, which is zone 140, automatically it's gonna put arm away. Button key number two, zone 141, is gonna be the disarm. That's how it's the the T5 or four buttons are set up. Key number three is gonna be zone 142, is arm stay. That's when you wanna stay home. You're gonna arm your one of your perimeters. Uh, that's what it means, arm stay, and it's gonna disable all the motion sensors inside your house so you can you can walk inside your house as long as you don't open any windows or doors the the, the alarm won't trick and number four key number four is and key number four is gonna it's gonna um, right now it's gonna be no response uh, usually it's a panic 24 um 24 silence or 20, usually 24 silence or, or 24 uh, audible panic. So we're gonna, at the end, we're gonna have to decide which one we're gonna program here. Okay, well, he, he pull out all the, the songs and the, um, and the actions, then we're gonna assign this, um, 
we gotta assign the key fab to a user because if you don't assign a key fab to a user, this um, the key fab won't work. The key fab won't work. Uh, we got many calls that um, saying like they program the key fab, everything good, but it's not working. Mainly because they never assign a user to the key fab. So it's very important to assign a user to the key fab. So when you click on use, it's gonna open another uh, window like this. Um, you select which one user. You can do a guess, master, and the rest. Uh, use number three, use number four, use number five. It's up to you which one, which user you're gonna. You can go down. If you got more users, you can go down the the arrow. You're gonna, you're gonna show you more users. Okay. Now um, we have the user, and then we have the all the zones program. So as of right now, we have uh, this. This is the key fab, a picture of the key fab, the 5834-4 in English. Um, arm away, this arm, arm stay, and this is usually fine. As of right now, there is nothing. So what you're going to do, we're going to click on this, on the key number four, and it's going to open another window where we can select uh, option we can select which one we're going to use for this uh, button number four usually we put 24 hours audible because it's going to do an, as soon as you click it it's going to do an alarm so we click uh, there's more options if you want to go down there's more options so we click 24 hours audible then everything is set up already with 24 hours we save it And that's it. As, uh, don't forget always to save it. We saved it, and it will save the configuration, the programming. And basically, as you said, this is um, there's more there's more options. Well, no more options, no pro more programming, which is uh, like um, when you program your your scenes or your scheduling or the C-Way, uh, how to program the C-Way technology, but those are, we're gonna see it in another webinar. Uh, in this case, the webinar was only how to program uh, zones on a, on a link, and that is what we did. Um, we also, a couple things, we also, every time you get a, if you get a, um, a link panel like brand new, uh, that's okay, you don't have to uh, set um, as a factory default. But if you get a, a panel that is not new, it's been used before or whatever, they give you, you bought, you bought it on eBay or they give it to you as a gift, whatever. We always recommend to factory default the, the panel so you, you erase every single data that it was, or every, every um, all the programming data it, it was already used. This is in order to for you to don't don't get confused with the old configuration and the new configuration you are doing it right. That's why we always uh, tell people to to do a fact. The first thing you gotta do a factory default, and then you if you wanna change the 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 historic code, which by default is four one one two, you can also change it. We can see that in another webinar. Uh, you can change the the, the the installer code. So if you're a company you don't want to nobody to mess around with your with your installation, but you just change it and nobody can get into the programming mode. Okay, with this um we finish this webinar. Um before we go into the we go into the if we have any uh questions, this uh in the screen you can see this two things. It's the email address, home support clerk at residual.com. It's where you can you can send us an email if you got a problem or something. You just send an email and one of the one of one of my team or myself we're gonna answer the your questions. If you have any questions or you have any problems, we can we can we're gonna try to say uh solve the problem. And also that's the QA, the QR uh, I told you guys, if you take a picture, uh, it's going to open a browser in your screen under your phone, and there's a little survey. Yeah, I think it comes in English or 
it comes in Spanish, I'm not sure. But if you go in the tab, you can change it uh, to English, Spanish, or Portuguese. I appreciate uh, if you can do that right now. And, and if you have, um, let me ask Andrea. Andrea, uh, do we have any questions? Tenemos alguna pregunta? No, we don't. No, we don't, eh? Okay. So, um, um, just to finish up, uh, guys, thank you very much for your time. Um, remember, there's more uh, webinars coming up. Just uh, register. Every every month we have a couple ones, like three or four every month. Um, Andrea? I'm sorry, Miguel, we have a question. Um, someone is asking how to connect to the wireless. How to connect to the wireless, okay. First, you gotta, this panel doesn't come with a wireless connection. I mean, um, the module that I, I showed you before. Let me see if I can go. You, if you wanna connect to a wireless, you have to uh, buy the, the wireless module, which is, let me see, let me start. This is a wireless Wi-Fi module. You have to buy it and install it inside the, the panel. And after you install that one, you just you can connect to a wireless um, any Wi-Fi uh, signal. That's how you do it. Okay. Any other questions? No, I don't see anything. No. Okay, Andrea. Uh, thank you very much for your help, guys. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, we see. We see you in the uh, in another webinar.